everyone, it's Miss Carol, and we're on week 11 of our Sunday School Google Classroom. This week's theme is how to confess our sin. And our scripture passage comes from Psalm, the book of Psalms 116. So let's read Psalm 116 together. I love the Lord, for he heard my voice. He heard my cry for mercy. Because he turned his ear to me, I will call on him as long as I live. The cords of death entangled me. The anguish of the grave came over me. I was overcome by distress and sorrow. Then I called on the name of the Lord. Lord, save me. The Lord is gracious and righteous. Our God is full of compassion. The Lord protects the unwary. When I was brought low, he saved me. Return to your rest, my soul, for the Lord has been good to you. For you, Lord, have delivered me from death, my eyes from tears, my feet from stumbling, that I may walk before the Lord in the land of the living. I trusted in the Lord when I said, I am greatly afflicted. In my alarm, I said, everyone is a liar. What shall I return to the Lord for all his goodness to me? I will lift up the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Lord. I will fulfill my vows to the Lord in the presence of all his people. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his faithful servants. Truly, I am your servant, Lord. I serve you just as my mother did. You have freed me from my chains. I will sacrifice a thank offering to you and call on the name of the Lord. I will fulfill my vows to the Lord in the presence of all his people, in the courts of the house of the Lord, in your midst, Jerusalem. Praise the Lord. So that came from Psalm 16 today, boys and girls. Okay. Our theme is how to confess our sin. You know, last week we talked about sin <clears throat> and how God hates it when we do when we sin against him or against one another. I'll bet you've heard adults say something like this. We always need to confess our sins to God. Did you ever wonder what that really means? What does it mean to confess something? The word confess means to admit that you have done something wrong. So when we, when we confess our sins to God, we are literally telling God that we have done something that he has asked us not to do. If someone is arrested by the police, they take them to see a judge. The judge asks them a simple question. Are you guilty or are you innocent? If they say they are guilty, they are confessing to the judge that they may have done something illegal. So, understanding that we need to talk to God about the bad things we have done is pretty simple. But when it comes to knowing how to talk to God about our sin, well, that's, that's much more difficult. In our passage today, King David talks about bringing a drink before God in order to give him thanks because, because God had saved him. What do you suppose God has saved David from? Well, David said in this psalm that God had saved him from death. God saved David's life. In the New Testament of our Bibles, the part of the Bible that teaches us about Jesus, Jesus said the punishment we did the punishment we deserve because of all of our sin is death. And that's from Romans 6, verse 9. And I know that might sound super scary, but guess what? Jesus didn't stop it stop there. Even though we deserve death, God has given us his grace something awesome that we do not deserve. That grace gives us life, even when, even when we don't deserve it and we deserve death. So because Jesus died for our sins, 
we know that God will forgive us no matter what we do, but we have to be willing to talk to him about everything, even the bad stuff we do. So David said he would bring a drink offering, a special kind of sacrifice before God to show his thanks and praise for how, for how God had forgiven him. Here is what God asks you and I to bring to him, our hearts. He doesn't want us to bring a drink offering, but he does want us to come before him, talk with him, confess our sins, and give him thanks and praise for the forgiveness he gives to us. What a wonderful lesson, boys and girls. Yeah, God always forgives us for our sins, doesn't he? Yes. You know, we should take time. We should, at all the time God is with us, take time each week to talk to God. And remember to open your ears and listen too. Listen for God. And remember that God is with you every second, every minute, every hour of every day. And he's always there to listen. So even if you do some bad things, you know, talk to God. Confess your sins. Tell him you're sorry. Tell him the things that you did. Because God will always forgive you. He is very compassionate and loving. So remember, boys and girls, take time to talk with God. Listen. And remember, God loves you with all of his heart. So, boys and girls, I hope you're having a wonderful week. And the weather got a little cold this week. I saw a little snow, but it didn't last long. So now we're into spring. You should be out maybe riding your bikes and, and, and enjoying the better weather. So I hope that you are having a good week. And as I always say to you, until the next time we meet, blessings to you all. And I miss you. Take care. Bye.